Deadpool 3 is one of the most anticipated movies of the upcoming year. It is surrounded by a lot of rumors, so let's talk about what we know about Wade Wilson's next misadventure. According to comic book movie, Deadpool 3 is the priority for Marvel Studios right now, and they really wanted to release it in May 2024. Which makes sense, because Disney usually prefer to release their biggest projects, and especially crossovers, in May. And Deadpool 3 is often called a project as big as Avengers, and the biggest crossover since Spider-Man No Way Home. However, the movie got postponed again, and will be released on July 26, instead of the 3rd of May, because Marvel Studios simply don't have time to finish filming, due to the strikes. But as a compensation, Ryan Reynolds has posted on Twitter that in the movie we will see the dog of the main character. Did Dogpool save the day? Not a chance in Gremlin Hell, but she is currently causing the Disney plush emerge department nightmares. Coming with a movie, Summer 2024. According to the rumors, we will see many mutants from Fox's cinematic universe, among which there is gonna be Toad, who appeared last time in the very first X-Men movie, back in the year 2000. And also Taylor Swift, who would play Dazzler, the mutant whose main power is converting sound into light energy, and who is also a singer. But actually, not so long time ago, we got some new information from the insider My Time to Shine Hello, who claims that Taylor Swift will appear in the movie, but will play not Dazzler, but herself. And I think the director of Deadpool 3, Sean Levy, kinda confirmed that Taylor Swift will actually be in the movie. I'm not going to exploit what is a personal friendship uh, with the lovely Taylor Swift, but has the word Dazzler ever escaped anyone's lips when you've been in a room with Taylor? Um, it sure escapes the lips of social media every day, and that's all I'm gonna say. Would she be a good Dazzler, just whether it's you or someone else directing? Sounds like a great idea. One more interesting character that we're going to see might be Gambit, played by Channing Tatum. I think so, because on IMDb we can see the stunt double of the famous actor. What the fuck is going on? This is what the fuck is going on. Now, what about the story itself? We don't know much yet, but some information is being shared by the insiders, and I can tell you it's quite promising. Deadpool 3 is going to be the beginning of the end of the Marvel Cinematic Universe as we know it, and the plot of this movie will likely be related with other popular characters, Loki and Kang the Conqueror. In the season 2 finale of Loki, he becomes the god of stories and the guardian of the multiverse, and according to the fans' theories, in the future films, Loki will try to stop the destruction of the multiverse and prepare for the battle with Kang the Conqueror. According to the insiders, can we get some toast and my time to shine hello? The Time Variance Authority, or TVA, will be gathering a multiverse army to fight Kang. And in Deadpool 3, the main character will get arrested by the TVA for tampering with the timeline using the Cable's time-traveling device that we saw in Deadpool 2. So after finding himself arrested, Deadpool will learn that the TVA looks all around the multiverse for the main version of each superhero to make an army against Kang. And as it turns out, the main version of Wolverine is Logan, played by Hugh Jackman. But Logan will refuse joining the multiverse army. Sounds Xavier. Go f yourself. And because of that, Deadpool will escape the TVA to find Logan and persuade him to join the army. Look, eventually you're gonna hang up the claws and it's gonna make a lot of people very sad. Huh? But one day your old pal Wade's gonna ask you to get back in the saddle again. When he does, say yes. And it seems like it might break the canon ending of Logan, in which the hero dies. Because as we saw from the filmings, the Fox's Cinematic Universe timeline will break. But despite all that, Sean Levy says that Deadpool 3 is not going to affect the Logan movie timeline. Logan is canon. We love Logan. That happened. So I'm not going to tell you more, but I do want the world to know all of us share this deep love and respect for Logan, every aspect of how it's crafted, and all the events that take place. The filmings are supposed to continue in January 2024, so we can only hope that they manage to make it by July 26, and that they have enough time to finish the graphics, or otherwise we're gonna see something like The Flash. And by the way, according to some theories, after the Deadpool 3 story, the main version of Wolverine will be the leader of the Multiverse army. And the main version of Spider-Man will be Tom Holland. However, Tobey Maguire might also be in the Secret Wars, as one of the main characters. So if it's true, it means that Spider-Man No Way Home can be considered as a prequel for the Secret Wars, because that's where we saw the Multiverse for the first time. So right now, we have to wait for the Deadpool 3 trailer, and I will be sure to make its analysis as soon as possible.
Let me know in the comments your expectations about this movie and what you think about it so far. Thank you for watching and I will see you next week.